Fred was vain. He loved his looks. He had no time for friends or books. Instead, he liked to dance and sing. I am the world's best looking king. But when one day Fred gave this cry, which Wendy heard him from nearby, how vain he is, which Wendy said, I think I'd better test King Fred. Then King Fred thinks he's the best, which Wendy puts him to the test. The clever witch disguised her face, and then she went to King Fred's place. She knocked upon the door and cried, Hey Fred, please let me step inside. But Fred just laughed and said, Stay out. You are ugly, like a bruiseless sprout. Oh dear, said Wendy to the king. You know, good looks aren't everything. Then King Fred thinks he's the best. The friendly witch is not impressed. So Wendy waved her wand at Fred. I'm going to help you learn, she said. A dreadful ugly beast you'll be until you are free of vanity. King Fred grew horns and bushy hair with claws just like a greasy bear. I'm gross, the beast yelled in disgrace and leaped inside to hide his face. Then King Fred thinks he's the best. His fur is like a messy nest. For several weeks, Beast stayed indoors to hide his ugly face and claws. He said, I'm bored and lonely too. Without my looks, what will I do? Beast tried to paint but made a mess. He had no guests to play at chess. If I had any friends, he said. They'd keep me company instead. Then King Fred thinks he's the best. He's very lonely and distressed. That afternoon, at half past four, a girl called Bell knocked on the door. The teacher bed stepped out and scolded. You're trespassing, you know, her grogly. John Bell was scared by still polite. She wouldn't live with a fight. Hello, she said. I'm selling books, so could you like to take a look? Ben King Fred thinks he's the best. The best has got a special guest. A book might pass the time, Beth said and let Bell step inside instead. She pressed the book out with a grin. Then saying to Bess, now let's begin. The pair read many special tales, with emperors, elvish and friendly ways, and by the time they reached the end, the pair felt like the best of friends. So Bess, as he set down his books, Bell's kind to me, despite my looks, but when the witch knocked on my door, he will face what I like so. He said, how terrible I've been. I need to be less vain and main. It's great to have a friend of books. Don't be alone. With handsome looks. King Fred no longer thinks his best. He tells himself if being a best. So best though he fall a fine away to thanks Bell for the lovely day. He found a giant. Empty hall with lots of books leaves standing tall. He said to Bell, please close your eyes. Then led her in and yelled, Surprise! As thanks for being kind to me, I'm giving you a library. King Fred no longer thinks he is best, but he's kinder than the rest. The pair filled every shelf with care, until new books were everywhere. Then, in a flash and with a boom, the witch appeared inside the room. You have learned your lesson, Wendy said. Now you are not vain, 
but not insisted. And since you gave this gift to Bell, you are cured of selfishness as well. King Fred no longer thinks he's best. He has passed which went this test. Then, with some sparks of gold and red, the beast turned into handsome Fred. The king proposed to Bell that day, and they were wed without delay. King Fred was lovely from then on his days of being mean were gone. He never thought about his looks and kept his head inside his books. King Fred no longer thinks he's best and no one ever would have guessed. Thank you.